Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Massa and Bunny on Dusk Towers. In the bottom side of the map, we have the blue Terran player. It is Massa. And in the top side of the map, we have the red Terran player. It is Bunny. Haven't seen Bunny for a while. He was very popular on the channel early in the days of the channel, but haven't seen him for a few months, I don't think. Alright, so this is a uh, TVT. Haven't seen one of these in a while. And this is for those Terrans of you who are laddering just to see what the meta is between two professional players. And hopefully you can emulate one of these builds and proceed to victory on the ladder. Alright, so Dusk Tower is a very popular map right now in Legacy of the Void. as a very safe expansion you can take. Terran, Protoss, and Zerg love that two pieces. Really big airspace here between the main base and or behind the main base and also kind of dropping back and forth between the second and the third base which makes drop play pretty darn good here too so Terran players have been known to drop each other in this particular situation and on this map but we'll have to see if that's going to be the case today both players doing the identical build both getting barracks both getting scvs both already have their refineries out so it looks like a reaper expand from both of these guys if that's going to be the answer i don't actually know but we will see soon enough as the barracks are finishing at almost identical moments here done Two, three, four, five, six, about seven or eight seconds behind is Massey here with his Reaper, but definitely doing the same darn thing. Now both players going into Orbital Command construction or upgrade SEV, trying to scout on in here from Bunny, and he does actually manage sort of get in. I guess he's worried about the Reaper coming in. He didn't quite get a full scout off there and the expand from both these guys. Once again, Bunny just seems a little bit ahead of his Terran opponent. And why is... Are the sound effects low to you guys? I keep trying to bump them up, but something weird is going on. I don't know. Refinery bumping up there too. And Marine in production to follow it up. Reaper versus Reaper hasn't really been a thing. Mostly playing defense here is Massa. Bunny's out for blood though. He wants to kill some stuff. It's just the problem is it's really hard to do so with Reapers in the, uh, in the uh, current meta of StarCraft 2. So, pop it on up here with the Reaper. Reaper go. Massa gets the first hit off though. KD8 charge. Not hitting much of anything, and Bunny decides to back on out, waiting for combat drugs to kick in and heal him up to full health once again so he can actually take on this Reaper from Massa. But no, decides to get the heck on out of there. Nothing to worry about. Nothing at all. Man, still identical builds happening. Both players getting their factories, and actually it looks like Massa's a little bit ahead on that factory play. Yes, his command center is a little bit later, but his factory did finish first as point of fact, and a Hellion in production right now for our blue Terran player. Is Bunny going to do the same thing? No. Here it is. Here's our deviation. A tech lab on the factory for Bunny. About time there's something different. Starport pop it on here in two for Bunny. I see no such thing happening from Massa. So possibly some Banshee follow-ups from Bunny. Possibly some Medivac or Liberator play would be good as well. And oh, a Cyclone. Oh, Cyclone coming up. Cyclone's good at defending against drops, good at defending against warp prisms and medevacs that try to come in and kill your stuff. They're just really good against air units, especially from range. So here comes a small Hellion Reaper push. Gonna try to get rid of that Reaper. Reaper knows it's dead. Run, Reaper, run. KD8 charge, not hitting anything. Nice dodge by Massa, and the Reaper falls. Can't go up this ramp. There's no way you can burn this down with what you have, but you can cause some harassment, force Bunny to have to react to it just a little bit. Cyclone might be able to deal with this, actually. He's trying to bait them in. He lowered. <laughs> Whoa, Cyclone getting blown up. I think Bunny was trying to bait Massa inside so he could trap him with these Marines in the Cyclone, but Massa did not actually bite there. Instead, backing on out doesn't lose anything. Yes, the Hellion has been injured, but he is not completely dead yet. Viking production for Bunny now happening one at a time out of that starport and a tank coming out for both of these guys. Very heavy on the tank production. Is anybody going flying tank is the question. No medevacs yet. No medevacs on the field, but yes, that starport is now done for Massa, and here's the tank production I was looking for, for Massa continuing that, at least, with another factory here. And a third command center, now landed for Massa. So expanding before his opponent, Bunny needs to get out here and do something very, very quickly, lest he get left behind. He is getting his own command center, but it's late. I think he needs to punish this. Income tab right now is 34 to 38 harvesters in favor of Bunny, so he is... Droning up, not droning up, SCVing up here a little bit harder, delaying his third expansion. But the longer this goes, the more it benefits Massa. And if you had to ask me who I'd pick before this game, I would probably pick Bunny, just because Bunny is one of the better Terran players I've seen 
in my time casting StarCraft 2, especially in TVT, but Mass is playing this really well. APM for these players is virtually identical, around 300 high 200s on average right now. Marines ready for a drop this direction, but no such thing coming out of here for Massa whatsoever. Still no medevacs, which is kind of crazy to me. I, I mean, the flying tank stuff, the tank marine stuff that we're so used to seeing in this matchup seems to be going by the wayside. At least in this TVT, which is one of the better ones that I was able to pull out of the DreamHack Open that wrapped up about a week or so ago. Marines hanging out. Both players very content just to chill right now. Cyclone getting so bored. He decides to move on out, and here's our 3D Porter for Cyclone. Lock-on ability going to take down that Hellion. Yes, does end up getting here, going after some workers, but Marines and Hellions and... Burp. Poor Cyclone. Cyclones are just really weak. Like, they hit pretty hard, but man, they melt so darn fast. Which, again, I understand they were nerfed, because I did see replays back in the beta where Terran went straight Cyclone, like nothing but Cyclone, and just wrecked Protoss so hard. It was sad. It was so sad. I'm not sure what Protoss was supposed to do. So Blizzard was like, we agree. We don't know what Protoss was supposed to do. So we're going to nerf them. Nerf those Cyclones into the ground. Here's our first flying tank. Both players now into the medevac production here. Stim on the way for both players. Combat shield being researched for Bunny. Definitely going for that bio production with a lot of Marines here. And I think that's what we're moving into is the flying tank Marine play that we're so used to seeing in this matchup but for a while there it was interesting it was interesting i liked the vikings i liked the cyclone i liked the little hellion reaper push that massa put out there but both players again feeling very content just to hang just to chill nothing to worry about bro we have both have flying tanks now oh here comes the drop the marine drop though straight marines versus a flying tank and who mm, marines coming out to check flight paths i think that's what this guy is doing Trying to catch these medevacs on their way up to the base. And based on this flight path, he's going to see it perfectly. What great positioning and great spotting there by Bunny. Another Marine making sure it doesn't push doesn't come up the front to try to kill him. Marine versus Marine here. No upgrades. No upgrades on either of these. But how do you spot this? Do you spot this? Oh, you don't spot it. You missed it. You missed it. Running his Marine away there. And this Viking should be able to get some shots off. At the very least, discourage this drop from happening and it give Bunny time to react to it. He has some units very close by and some Marines. I was going to say some Marines up here, but he actually doesn't. Pushing down the main lane here is Bunny. 123 to 133 total supply. Massa is in the lead. 64 to 55 army supply too. Massa, again, the longer this game goes on, the more I feel like Massa has a better handle on how things are going. Sensor Tower coming up for Massa. I like that play. And you know what? Bunny has one too. So both players playing from the same Terran versus Terran playbook right now. Missile turret getting some shots off on those medevacs. Medevacs pretty darn low on health, but they are alive, and that's what matters. They land. All the Marines are now on the ground. This Viking's in a lot of trouble. Full evacuation of SCVs. A minor skirmish down here. Marines running from Marines, but nothing much to worry about as well. Tank getting shots off, getting focused down by the Marines. A lot of dead Marines. Some of them do manage to escape, but not many. Just two. Just two managed to escape their infantry weapons. Armor completing for both of these players pretty much at the same time. And a medevac does get sniped down by that Viking. Nice defense there by Bunny. Yeah, he lost five SCVs, but uh, and he's actually down 73 to 66 workers. So that did hurt him economically, but taking out those two medevacs was a big deal. Resources lost tab. Massa has lost 2,100 resources. Bunny's only lost 750. So like I said, he's being more economically viable and has gotten a lot more value out of his units. He's just getting left behind, I think, I think in the macro game. Although right now, Massa has not really gone for... Oh, just kidding. Going for a fourth now. As soon as I say that, he starts constructing a fourth base. Come on, man. Help me out here a little bit. Plus two, plus two happening at about the exact same time. Once again, for these players, Marines pushing on through. Bunny looking scary. A lot of plus one, plus one Marines with Stim, with Combat Shield, and marching on in. This poor guy is just a scouting Marine, and he says, Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. And he runs. He runs on out. Here it is. Big old attack. Splash damage from tanks all over the place. Marine versus Marine. Medivac's trying to heal what they can. And I think Bunny might get pushed away here just a little bit. He does He does manage to retreat. Sends his tanks back on home there too. But I think Massa took as much as he gave, honestly. Uh, Bunny, I feel like he could have made a little bit of a better push there. But his Marine count was very low. You can't just go straight tanks as Marines do better against tanks than you would expect in that situation flying up now here comes massa heading up north scvs transferring over to that fourth base bunny is he working on a fourth base of his own i do not see one. Oh, he is just now starting one again it's not making me liars people don't wait until i say you're not making a fourth and then start making a fourth come on show me some respect marines tanks 
flying tanks. We call them tankabacks here on the channel. Trying to do what they can do. A small attack over here of Marines forcing a liftoff on that command center. Killing a couple SCVs as well. Some Sutter Set Micro with a plus one, plus one. And the Stim going to go ahead and take it down. And the command center does fall before the SCVs can save it. Landing on top of those Marines' heads. Standing and fighting for just a second is Bunny. Then he decides to back on out. He's going to push up the front while these guys are otherwise distracted. Heading on up here, losing that fourth base, a big deal for Massa, considering Bunny is about 60% done with his own fourth base right now. And he looks like he wants to land it here, which again is closer to the base, but it is also easily dropped by Marines, Marauders, and Tanks up here on this high ground, especially in TBT. Tank splash damage on some of these Marine tank versus tank here. Vikings spotting everything, trying to snipe down medevacs. Marines trying to kill Vikings as well. Long distance mining happening for Massa, 173. To 178 total supply. It's a pretty darn good siege here for Bunny. I like what he's doing. A lot of tanks in the front. These Vikings are going to be a problem, though, as they try to snipe down, especially the tank of Axe. Misses, though. Not able to get it. Marines trying to snipe down these guys as best they can, but if they venture too far out, they walk into these tank lines, which keep creeping forward and getting shots off. Bunny does lose a tank there. Marines can't really stim forward at this point. Both players just playing patty cake right now. Another one, or neither one, really wants to commit. And as a result, it's just some long distance tank splash and no real commitment here. Bunny, plus two, plus two has finished. Going for it now. Here comes Massa forcing the action. The Marines on the right side, though, are just melting through everything that Massa has. All the tanks are gone except for a couple back here holding on in trying to snipe down as many vikings as they can from the ground and taking medevacs with them but that tank splash man is so darn good plus one has finished on the tanks 55 damage versus armored 38 damage overall which marines are not armored they are considered in that overall category medevacs trying to sneak onto the main base oh one medevac gets sniped down immediately by the vikings and then he turns around and runs dropping his marines trying to take these vikings out does get two of them three of them Actually, a good display of micro there by Bunny. Nicely done, getting rid of that Viking count quite a bit. Only one left for Massa, two on the field for Bunny. Vikings good for spotting, good for sniping. And that's pretty much their function <laughs> here in TVT. Tanks on the low ground for Bunny. Marines on the high ground. Tank on the high ground for Bunny. Destroyed there as well. Marines, look at this. Taking some pretty good fire from the tanks. We're able to clean out two more of them by Bunny. This tank count, check, five to six. Brought to you by Sherman's Tank Legion, Infantry Legion. What the heck was that? World War II. Was it a type of a tank or a com like a tank commander named Sherman? I think, I think it was a commander named Sherman. Anyway, I can't remember. Both players going for plus three, plus three on their infantry, plus two vehicle weapons on the way for Massa. Plus one just not finishing for Bunny. So Massa is winning that particular arms race fairly darn handily. Marines stimming forward. They want to deny this base, but no. Massa one step ahead of you, man. Decides to get the heck on out. Gonna take down a refinery as a consolation prize anyway here though. It's Bunny and getting smashed in the face by tanks as another consolation prize. It's a bad one. Nobody really wants it on that game show. But Bunny is actually setting up shop. He's been sitting at the front door of Massa for a while. And I don't think Massa can let this happen. He can't let Bunny just sit up top here and own that fourth base. So instead he's gonna expand here. Again, worrying about the drops on the top side. Especially with Bunny in such an aggressive position. But he doesn't really have a choice. He can't take it here. Too many angles of attack. Too much aggression showing up right now from Bunny. Right now the income tab is 69 to 67. Both players hanging out quite a bit at the same level of income. And about five and six workers killed by each. Units killed is pretty darn close too. This is insanely close, ladies and gentlemen. Tank splash going down once again. Marine versus Marine. Nice concave by Bunny though. Really has the advantage. But a lot of dead Marines here as this tank count is looking great. From Massa. Bunny overextending just a little bit. The Viking control by Massa has been pretty darn good here too. Sniping down Vikings. Shooting down other Vikings and medevacs as they can do. And providing that extra vision for the tanks. Pushing up once again here is Massa. Taking some tank fire but doing a lot of damage in return. Especially on these Marines. A lot of these guys are on fire. Which has to hurt but they don't really show it. They make little sounds of pain but that's about it. Maybe that's their friends dying. What is that dead SCV count? Is there a drop I missed, or did Bunny have SCVs with his army? I think he did. Here we go again. A nice push up here from Amasa. Trying to kill it before it can get set up is Bunny. Pretty good concave here. Pretty good splits on his Marines, but losing a lot of stuff. These Vikings doing work for Massa. 153 to 114 total supply. The shoe has been put on the other foot by Massa. The tables have turned, as they say. Now he's coming up to assault Bunny's fifth base. 
Not his fourth base, but I say it's close enough here. Vikings once again sniping down medevacs. So many medevacs have died so far in this game. Medevac count. Taking a look at that one. 10 to 5. Doubling it up. Base explodes. A lot of dead SEVs here too. Income tab 69 to 53. Massa looking good. Now he's the one streaming units across the map right now. Setting up shop. Infantry weapons level 3 just now finishing for Bunny. Or for Massa rather. Bunny is not far behind. And Massa also finishing up that plus three vehicle weapons upgrade. He really wants his tanks to hit hard, his marines to hit hard. And it's working out here. Viking versus Viking. Bunny has a couple in the air here too. One versus one. Who's going to win that one? And it is Massa who wins it. Can actually start to snipe down some of these medevacs. Marines on the high ground. Tanks on the high ground. Bunny sitting here on the low ground. Again, harassing on the high ground. It's something I think Massa is trying to do right here. It's 150 to 118 total supply. 81 to 67 total army supply. And that is more dead workers. 21 workers killed by Massa right now. He is definitely ahead in that worker count. Finally able to establish his base here. It is officially his fifth base now, as he's had this fourth for a while. Bunny in a very defensive position, but actually coming back home is Massa. Why is he regrouping? It might just be regrouping. I don't see the reason why he'd have to pull all the way back home. There's nothing here to defend. There's nothing here that's under attack. I mean, I say if you've got a siege set up, keep it going. Tell your opponent makes you stop, but nope, Massa just pulls back a little bit. Has his more flying tanks here. It is 11 tanks to 5, so Massa's doubling that up. 7 to 10. Uh, Medivacs here as well. Actually, no. No, Bunny has the higher tank count. I apologize. Bunny has that higher tank count, which might be... Enough to do this thing. The tanks do deploy, but a little bit late. Tank fire from the sky. The Vikings once again trying to clear out what they can here. Landing on top with Marines on his own army. Losing a lot of stuff, though. The tanks on the ground for Bunny doing a great job. Expanding over here as Massa. Sneaky, sneaky expansion. Massa also making sure this base is not being taken at the same time. And both players take a bit of a breather as I take a drink. From my water. Massa here. Uh, has some medevacs. So that's cool. I don't know what they've been doing or what they have done thus far. But they are empty. So they're not much of a threat to Bunny. Man, Bunny really clawing back into this game. But the number of bases available for Massa right now is kind of insane. Income definitely favoring our blue Terran player here. 18 versus 1400 minerals. Gas income is about the same here. But that harvester count 69 to 51. And at some point in these TVTs, you actually start killing your own SCVs just to get a bigger army. So you can actually smash your opponent and win the game. We'll see if that happens. If Bunny doesn't bother replacing his SCVs, as it doesn't look like he is. He's not really worried about it. Tank count here is 14 to 8 in favor of Bunny. Viking count 7 to 0 in favor of Massa. So that might be a big deal in the upcoming battles. Flying on up. The flying tanks leading the way. The Marines lagging a little bit behind here. Once again landing. The Vikings trying to snipe down as many back medivacs as possible. The high ground definitely benefiting Massa right here. His own tanks alive. Smashing down yet another one of Bunny's tanks. Small group of units trying to come up and deal things. The medivacs inadvertently scout out that base, which is fun. And landing on the high ground, taking out several tanks. The Vikings taking out that medevac count. Very, very low. Bunny loses all of his tanks right there. What? He still has six, and Massa has seven, but I think they're all up here or in production. As Massa absolutely handled that very, very well. Bunny did reestablish his base here, but a base is on under construction here for Massa. This planetary fortress up and running very happily for Massa. 178 to 103 total supply. Medevacs flying on out. Marines. Flying on out and coming up here with the Marines trying to do something. I mean, that's a planetary fortress, though. I'm not sure that many Marines can actually take it down. Plus three or no plus three. Coming up here with his tanks. Great positioning. Landing them in range of the orbital command. A single tank tries to land for Bunny. Explodes immediately. Now, Massa has the advantage. A full retreat of SCVs by Bunny running for their lives. The Marines burning down the orbital command before it can be repaired. And the Viking hits it as well. And a GG. A GG from Bunny. Bunny is defeated, and Massa is victorious. Woo! Well done, Massa. Absolutely well-played game there. I thought for sure Bunny had it in the bag. When he had the siege set up here, he continually denied this fourth base of Massa's. But then Massa just took this base, cleared out Bunny's forces, set up his own pressure, took this one out. 
expanded everywhere without really losing anything from that point on and won the game. Good aggression, great tank positioning. Again, Bunny had more tanks most during that game, but Massa, I think, did better with them, and his upgrades are faster too, which is very useful. So, well played by Massa, well played by Bunny, but today, Team Blue takes the win. So, that's it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.